Hello everyone, it's Z here, and here is a work in progress shot of the illustration that I'm working on for my Adobe commission. Um, so for this illustration, I did it entirely on Adobe Fresco. Um, I got to give Fresco a bit of a test run during the making of this, and uh, I do think there's a lot of features in it that I've found very helpful and that I will continue to use after this. Um, and so with this next series of videos, I kind of want to give you guys some quick tips and tutorials about this program, um, you know, how to get used to it, and, um, you know, what I find special about it. So, if you've never used Fresco before, um, in my opinion, it's kind of a bit like Photoshop Lite. It has a lot of the same features as Photoshop, um, but in my opinion, one of the things that it does extremely, extremely well is in its brushes. Um, I use the pencil tool mostly for this entire illustration, and it really feels natural, easy to use, there's no lag, um, but if you also have brushes that you want to download from your own computer, you can import them. Go to the brushes panel here. There's a little plus sign here. Um, you can either import directly from ABR files on your computer, or you can click on get more brushes, which then leads you to the Adobe website where you can download a bunch of awesome Kyle Webster brushes. And so over here, I have a few examples of the brushes that I've imported from Photoshop as well as Kyle's brush pack. And they all work the same as they do on the computer. So speaking of brushes, another cool feature of Adobe Fresco is if you go to the toolbar and you see the second brush icon there, you click on it, and it gives you its selection of live watercolor and oil brushes. So what these do is that they basically treat the brush like you would treat it in real life. You know, you can see it actively dissolving into the canvas. Um, at first I was afraid that, you know, it might be just a cool gimmick, but the more that I worked on it, um, the more that I realized it did give the image the authentic, you know, watercolor and ink look. And it ended up being really fun. Just playing around with how you can mix these things. So the final feature that I found that's been really helpful with Adobe Fresco has been its touch shortcut which is this uh, little circle icon that you can drag all over the canvas right here. So just like how Photoshop has a lot of keyboard shortcuts that make your painting process a lot easier, with touch shortcuts, all you have to do is double tap either on the inside or the outside of the circle, and it'll activate a variety of shortcuts that can help make your painting process a lot easier on Fresco. So for example, let's say I'm painting, oops, sorry, let's say I'm painting and I make a big mistake. Um, well, instead of reaching for the eraser tool, if I have the touch shortcut near me, I can just double tap the center and it'll turn into an eraser. And double tap and it'll turn back into the paintbrush tool. 